Hey guys, it's Naja here from Budgeting the Bacon. And I'm looking through my little budget book. I use this little notebook every single month to basically just write down all of our sinking funds, our cash envelopes, uh, some of the income and stuff that we have. And I've been using this for a while. This is just a little notebook that my husband got from his job. They always have things that they um, are constantly like getting rid of or whatever the case may be. So normally he just brings home things like this to me, but I'm going to show you guys something. And I apologize. We've got the uh, Marvel movie going on in the background here. So you may hear that, but we, I've always been a paper and pencil budgeter. And so I want to show you all what, budgeting looks like it's especially sometimes if you're just starting out sometimes you want to have all the fancy things you want to have the fancy planner the good looking pen the digital spreadsheet all the stickers all the things you know all the page clips and all of that you, you know what when you're first starting off when you're first starting off you don't need all of that paper pencil journal notebook is fine it's, it's fine and i'm going to show you guys how i started off so this is, look at this guys, my 2016 budget. Okay, as you can see, it says June 2016. That's how long I've been using this here and I'm still using it till this day. I was working, actually I wasn't working at this time. I did a lot of PTA work with my son's school. And so I, Pretty much, I sold jewelry. I created and sold my own jewelry. So I sold on Etsy. I did a lot of vendor events. Um, so I would like go to corporations and do events. I would do like baseball tournaments. I would do baseball tournaments as well as just any type of event that I could get to. I was selling my jewelry. I was be up at like five, four o'clock in the morning, loading up my car. Sometimes I would take my kids with me, well, actually my oldest son, because I didn't have my youngest um, at, at this time, but I did whatever I, I needed to do, you know, to bring in some extra um, income. My husband was, was working full time at his same job that he is right now, but I'm so thankful and grateful that he gave me the choice and the freedom that he said, whatever it is that you want to do and it makes you happy, do it. So at that time I wasn't working full time anywhere and this is what I was doing. So as you can see, I've got some Etsy income on here. I used to be heavy off into mystery shops. Uh, shout out to them because they will always come through mystery shops with different companies and stuff like that um, in order to provide the bacon on the table for us. So I did a shop kicks event, which was mostly, you know, shop kicks was big. It may still be big right now. I'm not sure. But um, I put that down. And then also, as you can see, my IRA, that's how much my IRA was, $4,141.45. At that time, I put a contribution of 15%, 15 or 18%, and I put in $80. At that time, I had a car note. And so that's how much I paid towards it. And then I had minimum minimal sinking funds guys i didn't have all the sinking funds and all that stuff that i that we have now that we have now because we were living basically off of one income it was bare bones minimum bare bones minimum so we had a medical fund because at that time i found out i was pregnant but i ended up uh miscarrying and so then I would also put money into my son's account, uh, my oldest son, and that's how much the balance was. It has obviously grown significantly since then. And then I was trying to put away for life insurance as well. Guys, look at that principal mortgage payment, $20. This is why I say start where you are. Don't worry about trying to do the absolute most when you first start off start where you are twenty dollars that's all we could put to the side was twenty dollars twenty dollars toward the more towards the mortgage and god has blessed that twenty dollars to where it has multiplied it and stretched it 
to where we're almost going to be able to put up to two thousand dollars on that here in 2021 and that was after us being diligent getting our finances together paying off debt making sure that we had our fully funded emergency fund and just being consistent you know taking that little bit and making it stretch and do what we needed to do with it and being grateful and thankful even with that little bit okay so that's why I say start off right where you are. It doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to be a fancy budgeter each month. A notebook, a journal notebook, whatever the case may be, use that. Paper, pencil, whatever, you know, just whatever. As you can see, our emergency fund, I you know, contributed $60 to that. The balance was $1,376.15. Guys, we have a fully funded emergency fund. We have about eight months for an emergency fund right now. And so I just want to say, you know, be encouraged to start where you are in your journey. You know, it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be, you know, all elaborate. Start where you are and be consistent and you will see those blessings and reap the blessings and get that debt paid down and, you know, be able to finance those trips not finance but pay cash for those trips and things like that all right guys that's all i wanted to say on this saturday and just show you guys you know what i still use to this day in order to plan out my budget before i actually film anything all right guys i hope you guys have a great blessed wonderful day bye